Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on USO, which is the United States Oil Fund. Uh, essentially what it is, it's just one of the many vehicles you can use to track uh, oil. Uh, this isn't the one that will give you the actual price per barrel, uh, but if you watch my videos, you know I've been uh, using this one to track oil. And it's not necessarily the prices that I'm concerned with on this one, it's just more of the price action, the way it's movement, patterns, and so forth. So. Uh, if you've watched these videos before, you know I've done some long-term perspectives, and now this one's going to be a shorter-term one uh, based on the pattern that I see shaping up right now. Um, and hopefully I want oil to go lower. Uh, you know, I want gas prices to be uh, less. Um, I know they're not as much as they were back, what was that, about a year and a half ago or a year ago when oil was skyrocketing. Um, but nonetheless, right now it's a bullish chart pattern, actually. Um, so I'm hoping it will turn turn out bearish, but... Uh, you know, just to be straightforward, it is a, a, a bear, or excuse me, a bullish pattern that we see right now. So starting back here in late September, we had this just really nice run. And, you know, it was just almost green day after green day. We went through a few periods here where it looked like the chart should have reversed, but it just kept going up and refused to go down. And it's finally started to do some consolidating, uh, but that's kind of where this part of uh, the pattern comes in. But what we're going to call this here is a flagpole. So I'm going to make that um, extra thick. And what the flagpole is, it just represents some sort of big breakout move. And that's what we had here. From this bounce all the way up, it was just a big, massive, you know, multi-week um, breakout move. But now what we have is some consolidating going on. And we have this downtrend line here. Where, and you can see that uh, we've hit it three times now we've hit it once twice and then today was the third time it bounced off it so this is our resistance trend line within um, the pattern so I'm going to change that to red and then we also have uh, the support trend line and this one basically looks like this uh, if I take this low you can see that there is multiple times here where the price hovered right around it, but never quite dropped below it. And then uh, a few days ago, it bounced off it yet again. So like I said, this is our support trend line, so I'll change that to green. And what we have here is called a bull flag pattern. If uh, you can use your imagination and visually, uh, you know, kind of pretend this is a flag. So once again, this part here is called the flag pull and then the resistance and support form the actual flag so you know I'm trying to get something that looks like a flag like that and you know, I think that's you know pretty good job of what it looks like but this is bullish and right now like I said all we're doing is going sideways a slight tilt to the downside but that's you know what makes it the flag but the point being we've already had this big move up so as would be expected you would think there'd be some profit profit taking and uh, you know a higher base forming and that's exactly what's happening right here profit taking and with the way this uh, support line has been holding it's been uh, forming a nice base now what I want to see happen is I want to see this pattern just fall apart which would consist of a break of this trend line here on big volume so if we could get you know that sort of volume day or one of these two that would be great and then you know have it crash down but the reason this is a bullish pattern is even if this support line were to fail we still have this increasing 50 day slip moving average and then if you look down here further we even have an increasing 200 day we won't uh, worry about that one right now but if we do fail to the downside there's an another support level right here which isn't very far off which you know um, may may provide support again and not let this to get too too nasty now what would be great is if uh, the price could come down and then crash through this too because then the next support level is not really down until one of these areas so uh, you know will that happen I have no idea would I like for it to happen yes I would um, but I don't know right now with the way things are going uh, I, I still think the or the oils uh, probably gonna consolidate here and then break back to the upside um, but I hope I'm wrong so that's where we stand right now with oil I've been getting some questions on it since I haven't done a video in a while but uh, what we just need to pay attention to is, you know, the, the chart pattern now and what happens. Is it going to break to the upside or is it going to fall to the downside? And from there, 
you know, then it'll be able to get better updates. But that's where we stand right now from a shorter term perspective on oil. So if you have any other questions, uh, please feel free to shoot me a message. I'd also encourage you to check out bullmarketnewsletter.net. If you go there and sign up for the newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook, which has been getting good reviews. It goes over tips and tricks on how to profit in the market using uh, charts. And then with your subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, um, bullish chart set or educational pieces, excuse me. And it's from big boards all the way down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. And best part is no strings attached. It's all free. Uh, so it's worth at least checking out. One more time, this was the USO, which tracks the oil sector. Thanks for listening.